All of us run out of hope at some point. Am I right or wrong? I think all of us do. Even that cup is half full sanguine soul who always goes around singing, the sun will come up tomorrow. Even that person on occasion will reach up into the shelf for a can of hope and find there is no hope. Maybe that's where you are today. Maybe you're here more out of desperation than inspiration. Is there any hope? Are you asking that question? You're running out of hope. Are you the single mom who's running out of hope? Are you the elderly person who has buried someone you love and your hope has left you? Are you the businessman who looks professional on the inside, but it's been a long time since you had a good night's sleep and you can't find peace? Are you running out of hope? Are you feeling like giving up? Are you close to despair? Don't do it. Don't. The blackest moments we live through will last only a little time. You cannot keep a person down who won't stay down. It's one thing to be knocked down, but the problem is you won't stay down. There are already witnesses in this room who will testify. It's not that I haven't been knocked down. But God keeps giving me the strength, the energy, the wherewithal, the anointing, the power to not stay down. That every time something or somebody knocks me down, God keeps raising me back. See, ladies and gentlemen, life is not about not getting knocked down. Life is about not staying down. You can't quit. You come too far to quit now. Today I refuse to quit. Today I refuse to give up. I've come too far to look back now. Amen. Has anyone else came too far to look back again? We have come too far. God has been far too good. I refuse to quit. No matter what's going on in our world today, no matter what is going on in my temptations today, no matter what's going on in my family, with my friends, at my job, in my health, I refuse to quit. I'm not going to give up. Your situation may have changed. Your circumstances may have changed. It may feel like it's bigger. It may feel like it's greater. But friend, today our God has not changed. He will never change. The same God that helped you back then, the same God that was with you in the beginning, the same God that showed himself strong in your situation before is with you right now. Don't get this far down the road and turn around. Don't come this far. Don't overcome all those challenges and addictions and trials and what the world has thrown at you. And then at this point in your life, turn around. It's not worth it. Someone needs to hear this. You're facing challenges. You're facing addictions. You're facing that affliction, that temptation. You need to refuse to quit. You need to refuse to give up today. Some of you need to remember the history of victory that God has in your life. Do you remember all of those times where you said, I'm not going to make it through this? And look where you're at today. I remember some of the darkest times of my life. I would lay on the bed in tears. I would lay on the bed sometimes without even words to pray. And Satan would whisper and say, this is it. This is the big one. This is the last time you'll ever have to go through this because your life's going to be ending or this is going to ruin your entire life. But guess what? Here I stand today, 
But by the grace of God, he delivered me time and time again. And even when it seemed tough, even when it seemed rough, my God was faithful. But see, for some reason, we go through a new storm, we go through a new trial, and we tend to forget all of the past and all of the times that God delivered us. Church, today you need to remind yourself of the goodness of God. There were things in my life that should have taken me out. There were things in my life where I was going the wrong direction. There were afflictions in my life that should have killed me. But by the grace of God, here I am today. And you have the same story today, church. I want to encourage you. There's been things in your life that should have taken you out. But here you sit today, breathing, alive, able to see, able to talk, able to walk because of the grace of God. That's something to get excited about today. We have a history of victory. If God says you can make it, guess what? You can make it and you will make it. No matter how negative it looks today, you're going to come back. It's time to get up off the mat. If you've been knocked down, if you've been through something, if you've been through financial setback or some kind of terrible thing has hit you in your health and, or, or something's happened to your family, we need to believe that it's time for a comeback. It's no time to quit. It's no time to give up. It's no time to moan and groan. We may be down but we're not out because we serve a comeback God. And I want you to know the attitude of our God is I'm not going to give up on anybody. I'm preaching to some people who have fallen behind. And the enemy is whispering to you, give up. The devil wants you to think it's gone forever. Whatever it is that he stole from you, it's gone forever. But it is not gone forever because God is planning you a comeback. That if there's breath in our lungs, He's not finished with us yet. No matter how old you are, no matter how bad you've missed it, no matter how bad things look, don't worry, God's not finished yet. If you haven't seen the breakthrough, God's not finished yet. If you haven't seen the miracle, if things haven't turned around for the good, don't worry, God's not finished. See, God's not setting us up to leave us halfway finished. He's not setting us up to not finish what he started. No, he wants to bring us to a flourishing finish, which means that our best days are right in front of us. Some of us in this room, maybe we've had failed businesses, failed marriages. Maybe we've made some bad mistakes and we think to ourselves, God's done with me. God can't use me. He's not going to use me in ministry again. He's not going to give me another business. I declare bankruptcy. You need to stop accepting those self-limiting beliefs, those self-limiting lies, those God-limiting lies. We serve a God who's never finished when there's breath in our lungs. God can turn things around. He can get you on the right track. And I think many of us in this room have accepted limits that God didn't put on us, we put on ourselves. We've accepted caps that other people have said over this, you can't do that, you're too young, you're too old, God's done with you, you messed up, you screwed up, you, you missed it, you'll never get out of this. We've gotta break those limitations off. Because we've accepted that we can't, we won't. And because we won't, we'll never realize that we actually can. Today is the day to stir up that hunger, to say, with God, all things are possible. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Type amen if you agree. Click here to watch this important message.